Yo, welcome, welcome back to Golden Goose DFS, man. I'm your host, Chandler Blakely, also known as Goose, man. And it's finally here, man. Opening night, man. I'm excited, man. I'm excited to bring y'all my starting five. The first of many here at Golden Goose DFS, man. It's a great, great two game slate tonight, man. A lot of star, a lot of star power tonight. You don't typically get this much star power on a two game slate, man. Just my analysis of the slate early, man. It's going to be uh, hard to find value because it's a lot of new faces, man. You, you don't quite know the rotations yet. You don't know quite the minutes, how the usage is going to pan out. So you're going to have to take some chances and uh, gamble a little bit on some of your value plays, especially if you want to win tonight, man. But like I said, man, it's just a two-game, so keep it light. Actually, this whole first week, first maybe the first week or two, I would say go kind of light. Don't spend a lot of your bankroll, man. Wait to see, like I said, how rotations work out and things of that nature because there's not a, a lot of new faces in different places, man. So you don't quite know how how the rotation is going to work. So I would use this first week or two to kind of sift through that and just get a feel for how, how teams are going to be rolling out their lineups this year. But... That being said, without further ado, man, let's get right into it. My starting five, man. Point guard, like I said, it's a lot of star power. But for me and my money, man, I'm going with Steph Curry tonight, man. Out of all the stars, he's the one flying solo, man. No Clay, no Draymond. And I think he's anxious to get back out there and show the people he's back, man. He probably... No doubt he heard a lot of talk during the bubble about Damian Lillard being the best point guard. And I think he's back to stake his claim at that. So I, I like Steph Curry tonight, man. My next play, shooting guard, it's really a no-brainer. Paul George, man, he's, he, he's just too cheap, man. For a guy that, uh, of his caliber that does everything he does, he fills up the stat sheet. 50-plus point upside for the night at 7,800, man. Just lock in Paul George. Just, just set it and forget it, man. No real no real need to go into that, man. It's PG, all right? Small four. Now, earlier I told you it's going to be hard to find value. You're going to take some chances and things of that nature. And for me... I may be buying into the preseason hype. We'll see, man. Right or wrong, I'm going with, with, with Horton Tucker tonight, man. For the simple fact, I think LeBron and AD kind of ease their way into the season. Kind of slow roll it, so to speak. So at the end, I think that, you know, the, the young boy Horton Tucker got a lot of hype in the preseason. I think they're anxious to see what they got with him. See if he can do it in the regular season. So I expect him to get a good amount of run tonight. And if he gets good run and, and and applies itself the way he did in preseason, it's hard for him to fail at 3,500, man. 3,500, you probably need about 20, 25 points out on for the hit value, man. I can see that happening, man. So I'm going with Horton Tucker as my first value player of the day. Power forward, man. I'm going with Kelly Oubre, man. Kelly Oubre, like I said, Steph Curry rides solo, man. He's going to have to depend on Oubre and Wiggins for some score. I trust Oubre way more than I trust Wiggins, man. Maybe Wiggins can turn over a new leaf this year, but he's just too iffy. And well, When he's aggressive, he's good, man. When, but you just never know how aggressive he's going to be and how he's going to attack the other team. So for me, I'm going Kelly Oubre, man. He's a lot like Paul George. In the sense that he can fill up the stat sheet. He's not as good as Paul George. I'm nowhere near saying that. But you're talking about a guy that can fill up the stat sheet for your steals, assists, maybe a block or two. And he's gonna and, and he's gonna attempt to score. So if if he got his if he got his offense working, it's a guy at sixty seven hundred with genuine fifty point upside, man. I like some Kelly Oubre tonight, man. Get him in your lineups. Center, I'm rolling with the young boy, man. James Wiseman, man. He's the only true seven footer on the Warriors squad, man. So I think he's going to get all the run he can handle, especially with uh, Brooklyn rolling out two seven footers and Allen and Jordan. As long as he can stay out of foul trouble. Now, I hope he's not a hack box, but normally rookie bigs tend to get in a lot of foul trouble. So hopefully he can, he can avoid some of that. I see him getting a lot of run. 
like I said, as much as he can handle on that 4900, I'm I'm hoping he crushes value for that price. He should be on the glass a lot. They're gonna need rebound, especially with Draymond grown. So I like James Wyden at the center, man. Hey guys, and that's my starting five. Like I said, the first of many, man. We bringing it to you every slate. So go on and get in here, hit the subscribe button, man. So you you know when the video drops that you can get this fresh starting five every slate, man. Like I said, hey, value's hard to find. You got to take some chances, man. And over here at Golden Goose DFS, man, you know our motto, man. Chances make champions. We here. Let's go. I look forward to seeing y'all all year, man. One.